Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to override any person's um, password. Basically, a password looks like this. See? So you have your screen and it prompts you for a password and you log in. Okay? So I have a Windows XP machine running. Now, this will work on Windows XP, Windows 7, and even Windows Vista. So let's power up our Windows XP machine. Wait for our Windows XP machine to boot up, and when it's once it's boot boot up, we're gonna see it as a password. Okay. Mm -hmm. it says welcome, and look at that. I'm right to the right to the desktop. No password. Okay. So now. We're gonna do is we're gonna change that because I think that we need to have a password on this machine. So we're gonna click on um, start, and then um, we're gonna go to control panel. Cause you know we're secure. We need to have a password on this thing. I mean, we're extremely secure. I don't know why control panel doesn't show up. I'm gonna try it again until it shows up. There we go. User accounts. User accounts. Okay, I'm gonna click on my account. I'm gonna click create a password. Okay, it's gonna be like typing a new password. Now for this password, just gonna put um, I like pie. I like pie. And the hint or phrase is gonna be super secure. I'm gonna click create password. Okay. There, a password has now been um, um, assigned, and if you look, it now says password protected. Okay. Is that that disk in there? Okay. This is vibrating. So now it's password protected. If we click log out, log off. Now it asks us to enter our password. See? So if you press enter, it's going to be like, did you forget your password? You're not going to be able, it's not going to let you in. So, this is where we type in our password at. I think it's locked up. Yeah, it's locked up because you were trying to guess the password. Um, hurry up. Um, but yeah, you'll get stuck on this, and it's not fun. So let's restart the machine if we can. Yeah, it's because this, this machine's locked up now. <laughs> How would that happen? Hmm. There we go. Look at that, we're in. So let's log let's log back out. Let's see what the hell happens. Logging off. So we just press enter, it's gonna be like, did you forget your password? But I like pi. It's gonna load the settings and allow us back in. Like that. So you obviously see it has a password and you can't really break it. So we're gonna turn off the machine. Turn off. Okay. We know it's just shutting down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a handy dandy, really handy dandy um boot CD. Okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna boot off the C D on that computer. The C D is um Hyron's boot C D, or whatever they want to call it. So hold on.
Well, I find it in my collection. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is you want to get get this really really cool, um, this really really cool CD, which I just did, um, which I have, and pop it in, which my DVD drive doesn't work, so I can't really boot off the CD, but I have the CD saved as an ISO file, and um, what I can do with that. So I can boot off the ISO file, which is, you know, the disk image file. So I'm going to go on to Oracle VM, and I'm going to set it to boot off of the ISO. So on a normal computer, I'm going to pop in the CD, go to the BIOS, or hit F8, or whatever the, the key is, the boot sequence key, to choose a boot thing, and you're going to boot off the CD. Okay? But in here... I'm going to change this to choose the ISO. It's going to say find it, fix extra stuff, select and select. There it is. And it's the Hiram's boot CD. There it is. Now I'm going to go to system and I'm going to make that boot first. Hit OK. Click power. And then it's going to power up. It's going to power off that ISO. And it's going to now give you this. It's going to be like, um, boot from hard drive, mini Windows XP, Linux-based recovery. You got Windows diagnostics checking. You got you got all this stuff you can go into. Um, smart boot manager. Fixed NTLDR is missing. Yeah, that, that could have helped me with my old, um, with that HP computer up in the closet. <laughs> See, this thing, this thing's so cool. Well, what you're going to select is you're going to select Mini Windows XP and press enter. It's going to load, it's going to find the files and kind of boot off of them. Then we'll wait for it to boot. Get my thumbs unstuck from that. See, it's, it says loading Mini Windows XP. It's getting the files and it's going to load it. This, this stuff's legit. Best CD I have is this um, tech support boot CD. This is uh, the extreme that I have. It's a good CD. I mean, I need to get more um, DVDs, and I need to get a good DVD drive. I mean, I would I'd burn like every operating system. I'd burn every little boot CD. I'd boot it all. I'd, I'd burn it all. I mean, so now it looks like. A legit Windows XP is booting. That's not. No, that's not our Windows XP that's booting. It's um. It's the boot and it's the Tyrant's boot CD. See? It's gonna pop. It's gonna load. And there we go. Now what we have is we have an HB CD menu. Okay. So uh, once all this stuff boots up, it's gonna be like program launcher. It's gonna be. You can go into anything, guys, and even it's really nice. So HB CD boot CD and then you can click programs but look at all this stuff that you have you have all these cool to tools recoveries antiviruses um, <clears throat> you have it all you do network like Winsock repair wireless key viewer FTP clients router IP slash passwords you even have putty on this thing oh my gosh I love it I love it I love it I love it smart sniff but what you're going to go to is password slash keys, and then you're going to go up to um, Windows Login, and then the third one, password renew, set user password. Um, actually, no, that's not the right one. You're going to go to NTW, NTPW Edit. It's the second one down. Sorry, guys, I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, this is for XP Vista and 7. So now it's going to show this lovely, lovely thing. Now it's going to say C right there. What you want to do is you want to make sure you get the right 
um, directory. So I see I see a 19 gig um, C drive, so it's still C. So I'm fine with that. I'll click reopen, and then look at that. It will it will grab all the users that's on that. It will actually go into the the Windows files. So I click on my account. We're going to change password. And <laughs> look at this. Now, if you don't want a password, you just leave it blank. But if you do want a password, you actually enter characters in and verify. But we're not going to put a password on here. So remember, guys, it has a password. Remember, I like I like pie. That's that's his password. Well, look, we're going to remove the password. So we're going to leave these blank. We're going to click OK, um, save changes, and then exit. There we go. We just changed the password on there. And then we can screw around with it more. Um, we're like scan for viruses. We got oh, we oh, we got all kinds of stuff. Tweakers, um, XP anti spy, write protected USB devices. See. I mean, <laughs> you have it all. So what you're gonna do now? So you're gonna click start, shut down, shut down. I'm gonna let it shut down, and that's how fast it shut down. Go back into here, settings, and we're gonna click on storage. We're going to um, remove that, or damn it. See, so now there's no disk in there. See, and then what we're gonna do is go back to system and pop hard drive back up in the first. Now we're gonna boot our Windows XP, and we're, guys, it would it, it, it's supposed to prompt us for a password, but we went in hardcore and we changed the password of it. So it should just go right to the desktop. If it goes right to the desktop. That tells you guys it's legit. So let's see. Booting up. No flaws. See, I'm moving around, you know. I mean, it's hard to video edit that. I mean, you know. Look at that, guys. Right to the desktop. This is the desktop, guys. And this is under the same account. It's <laughs> That's how legit that is. It's really awesome. Love it. Love it. So, guys, that is how you um, get around stuff cool way it's really really awesome you guys are gonna be like wow mind blown so awesome because it is and I have um, hacker ideas of using this CD right here so yeah you can imagine guys it's really really best CD I burnt so anyway guys thanks for watching